Welcome back to Stop Motion News, episode 21. I'm your host, Preston Man Animations, and we have a lot of stories to get into today, so let's get right into them. So our first story is actually a big group collaboration, so with No Way Home coming out in actually like a week or two now, pretty crazy, we all know that there's going to be a bunch of Spider-Verse animations and Spider-Man animations, but one that I actually am pretty interested about um, is the Spider-Geddon Project. So this one is a group collaboration between uh, Aqua Studios, spider Dude Productions, all that jazz, Game of I-13. 46 Legendary Pro, oh, and 46 Legendary Pro. So that's the main group, and there will be a bunch of cameos, apparently, including me. What? I didn't say that. Um, and it just seems really interesting. The main villain seems to be more Lun, and just so many guest cameos, it could be interesting. Now, there are always, occasionally, about once a year, there's always a group collaboration between a bunch of animators announced, and sometimes it goes somewhere, but a lot of times it doesn't. So I really hope this project ends up working out. Uh, because these are also my favorite animators, and they all have great, or will have great Spider-Man series. Um, three of theirs aren't out yet, but, you know, we give hope, we give hope. This leads us into our next story, which is All That Jazz, whose Spider-Man series we talked about last episode will be releasing December 10th. Very soon, guys. I'm so excited. Episode 1, I'm so pumped, guys. Jazz is, he's just awesome. I'm really excited to see what he does with the character. Another Spider-Man stop motion coming out is from Ghost Rider 822050, a bunch of numbers. Um, and his Miles and Spider-Man vs. Venom stop motion will be coming out tomorrow, Sunday, or today, Sunday, whenever I upload this, I don't know. Um, and I'm really excited for this. Ghost Rider doesn't upload a ton, but when he does upload, they're always very high-quality animations. And, dude, I'm so excited. Taking a break from Spider-Man for a minute... Uh, we have C.T. Bill. So C.T. Bill released a teaser trailer for his upcoming G.I. Joe animation, um, Operation Counterblock. And this makes me pretty excited. The trailer is great. And I'm sure we can expect some great action and comedy in it. So our next story is from Oliver Flix, who will be releasing on December 31st his Adventures of Frogman feat Spider-Man stop motion. Um, Frogman is obviously a very jokey character, so I'm excited to see what he does with it. I will assume this is just going to be a comedy of some sort. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. The story is Aqua Studios, who has teased a couple more projects, including a trailer for one, uh, a poster for a Deathlock film, and a trailer for episode 7 of her Ultimate Spider-Man series titled No Way Home. How original. Um, anyways, the trailer does look pretty great, and it features many prominent villains, which are sure to do some great world building for her series. Um, and also, she did announce that Episode 7 will be the last of her Ultimate Spider-Man series. And I guess she's rebooting it. Um, personally, I enjoy the series and I think she should keep going. But that is my personal thoughts. And our final story for today is from me, actually. So, I did release my Superior Foes versus P Superior Spider-Man and Miles Morales stop motion. As well as I did release the trailer for the very famous Friendship... Three. It's finally coming out, guys. December. Uh, I'm filming behind-the-scenes video clips as I film and stuff. And I kind of hate it so far, which is good. That's a good thing. We have a very, very talented, star-studded cast. I think I can... I, I don't know if you'll get mad at me for saying this, Cyber. But we got CT Bill, Hobo, Electric Spider, Jazz, uh, Noah Films, Green Bird... Evermore, technically. Um, and it's being written by me, Cyber, and a little bit from Greenbird. So, be tuned. Stay tuned, guys. I'm really excited for this. And, yeah, I'm just super pumped. And now, enjoy the interview with the man, the myth, the legend, Prime Films. And I hope you enjoy. It's a bit hard to hear, so sorry. Um, I didn't really realize over the call that the mic quality wasn't super great for either of us. But I uh, kind of deal with it. Oh, well. Sucks to suck. Ladies and animators, welcome back to Ask the Animator. Today, I'm joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Prime Films. So, thank you for joining me, Prime. No problem. It's an honor. 
so before we get into our viewer submitted questions, I have a couple of questions for you regarding some of your projects and upcoming releases. So, what's the plan with Scarlet Spider right now? Will there be a full season, a second season, or any news you can give us regarding new villains, voice actors, or cameos? Oh, six, seven. But I don't like the first one, to be honest. Not like the direction. I know, if you get what I mean. I feel yeah, like yeah. I took a bad take on it. But, you know, return. Oh. It was gonna be alright. It's gonna be uh, alright, I suppose. Alright. So, um, so you have posted that you're going to do the Deathlock remaster. Will that follow the original plot of the first film, or will it attempt to tell a different story? In a way, but not as shit as it. So, so it'll be a bit different from the first one? Yeah, I'd say so. Alright. And then, after the remaster, do you have plans for like a prequel, sequel, spin-off, or any other films that take place in that series? In this area? Um, probably after that. Okay, after it. And then, The Predator. Because I'm doing the that. Predator. Alright. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get into more questions about The Predator when we get into the Ask the Audience, because people have some questions about that. And then, my final question for you... Um, is Scarlet Spider and Deathlock taking place in the same universe, or are they separate things? Nah, yeah, they're separate. They're, they're in separate. the same whole thing, but they're separate for, like, the time being. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's kind of like Venom and Mario and the MCU, where, okay. like, they're technically going, but, like, they kind of aren't. Yeah, okay. I'm not explaining things. Um, our first question from our Ask the Audience is from Caden Smith, and he says, Why don't you make music anymore, Prime? I do, but for certain people, I used to a lot, a lot, but like, I don't know, I'm very busy with school, but you know, that, like, I'm just hard to get the time to, but doing it for a certain someone. Alright, so Aqua asks, why oh, not no. Spider specifically to make a series on? You, you like, um, if Batman was Spider-Man. Because, like, from Reed, it's, he's, like, so cool. And, like... Yeah, so you wanted to do something different, kind of, with an edgier Spider-Man? Edgy and more dark. Alright. Yeah, I got um, a little bit of it for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Hmm... What's, um, what's your favorite stop motion you've made, Prime, from Caden Smith? Um, wow, so this is a tough one. Um, hey. I, I really like the way I was going with Predator, but I kind of lost so. Alright. Well, actually, I, uh, um... I'll, uh, 44 Studio, he asks, how is Predator coming along? Very good. Um, I hit up Cyber and I was like, yo, we should do this again. He was like, go away, I'll give you the thing, the script, and you can do it, go away. And then I was like, yeah, I sure. And then... Okay. Oh, happened. Um, let's see, we also have... From Oliver Flix asks, who is someone you would want to collaborate with in the future? Um, Spider Geddon sounds fun. I'd love to be part of that. Um, Alright. That does seem like a very interesting project. Um, let's see. From Chromatic Studios asks, any DC animations you'll be working on the, in the future? <laughs> I don't have, I don't have because, um, but, yeah, Batman, Batman? Into that. But, yeah, if I were Batman. If, if he was, okay, if he were to, then it would be Batman. Um, from Peter Parker, um, he asks, will Scarlet Spider ever meet Deathlock? Um, yeah. I didn't yeah. say it, but, yeah. Oh, okay. That's, uh, first... Here, straight up first, people. 
Spider-Dude Productions asks, what is Prime's origin story? Then I don't know, um, that's what I call one day. It's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, let's get one more question here. Hmm. From one more from Caden Smith. He asks, what's your favorite stop motion you haven't made Prime? So what's a uh, favorite stop motion someone else made? Oh, Seen a lot of movies. Spider Dude series. Spider Dude series, yeah, his is awesome. In fact, that was part of it. Yeah, so there's a bunch of other questions, but a lot of these are less serious. Um, Aqua Studios has a very serious question. They asked, Why are you Irish? I hate those people. Uh, I don't know, I just woke up one day, and I was, and um, they haven't found recovery yet, so. Uh, well, it's sad to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But, thank you for joining me for this interview, Prime. If there's anything uh, you would like to say to the audience before we end it, um, you can go ahead. I want to hear another joke, Larry. You want to hear a joke? You want to hear one more? What you get when you cross a mentally ill? <laughs> I can. I can. Sorry. Um. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Well, go check out Prime on his social medias. They will be linked below. And thank you for coming on the show, Prime. Make sure to check out his Scarlet Spider series and Deathlock because he will be updating both of those soon. So. All right. Thanks for coming on, Prime. And I'll see you later. Bye.